guys welcome back or welcome to my channel I feel very delusional because I've been awake since freaking 3.45 in the morning it's Black Friday today guys and I worked from 5 a.m. to 4 p.m. that's 11 hours in case you're wondering but anyway, so I haven't filmed a video in like two weeks or posted a video in two weeks, so I decided to make one tonight because it's just, it feels like the perfect night, you know, when I'm not doing okay, you know? So yes, my makeup is disgusting right now. You can see it's oily and crusting and it's just really gross, but it's been on for a long time, okay? So today I wanted to do a sort of interesting video because why the freak not? Um, I saw this video done by another YouTuber, her name's like Safia or something like that, and she basically mixes a lot of her makeup together and wears them like that, and so I just figured, that seems like a good idea, you know? I'm just gonna mix my foundations together, all of the ones that I have, and put them on my face and see what happens. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, that's what I'm, okay, that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, if you're not already subscribed whatever subscribe um like this video if you liked it uh yeah that's about it i'm just gonna get into it um take this makeup off do not judge me and do not judge this giant white head i am breaking out a little bit right now because of stress and whatnot and hormones and stuff so don't judge me black friday was freaking wild people are fr are crazy they're psycho and I, I promise I got crop dusted like 50 times. I'm not even kidding. It was disgusting. I inhaled about 50 freaking farts, you guys. I feel so like out of the groove of filming. It's like, I don't even know what to do. Okay, so yeah, I've gathered most of my foundations at least. I don't even know where a majority of them are. Um, so I'm gonna get started. First, I'm gonna sanitize my hands. Whoa, try it. And then I'm gonna prime because I wanna give it a fair shot, you know? So now I've got all of my foundations right here. Some of them I'm not going to be able to like mix together like as liquids because some of them are like stick foundations or um, like a cushion foundation. So I'll just put those on as we go, I guess. And I've got the, whoa. I've got this little container. I'm just going to do like a pump or two of each product and put it in the container and see what happens. <laughs> I'm going to start off with a BB cream. This is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream in the shade 520 Light Pale. And I'm just going to put a dabble do ya. Wow, that's cool. Um, L'Oreal Pro Glow Infallible. I actually use this one, so I don't want to put too much. And then I'm going to take, oh my, and the problem with me and my foundations is I literally can never find my correct shade. So all of these are going to be like a million different shades, but it's fine. Like so far, we're having an issue with these shades. Now I'm going to take my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation in the shade Creamy Vanilla. I'm going to do a, two little squeezes of that. That's really thick. Then I'm going to take my True Matte, L'Oreal True Match Lumi foundation in the shade Warm, or no, Nude Beige. So I'm just going to put, oh wow, that's not my shade at all. That's orange. I'm taking my number seven Lift and Luminate foundation in the shade Cool Vanilla. It's so funny because some of these are so thick while others are really thin. Where Where is it? A Clinique. I just got this. I kind I I like it a little. I like it for now. We'll see what happens. But this is the Clinique Even Better Glow Light Reflecting Makeup in the shade Alabaster. These are so different. Like all of these shades are ridiculously different. And then the last liquid foundation is my NARS um, Radiant. No, it's not concealer. <laughs> I was about to say NARS Radiant Luminous whatever. NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. That's not what it is. NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in the shade Mont Blanc. And I'm going to put a little squeeze of that. This is probably the closest one to my actual skin tone, along with Alabaster from Clinique. So we'll see. Please take a look at the different shades in this mixture. This is going to be great. 
Maybe by mixing all of these together, I will find my correct shade. Wouldn't that be magnificent? So now I'm just mixing them. Oh. Okay, some of these foundations smell like straight up paint. So this is really not smelling the greatest and I probably shouldn't put it on my skin, but F it, you know? So before I put on the liquids, I guess I should start with my Lumi cushion. I'm just gonna take a little bit on my sponge. There isn't that much of this foundation left in here, so we'll just do, we'll just get whatever I can out of it. take the Maybelline Fit Me um, stick foundation. This is not my shade, so we're about to see a huge mess. <gasps> oh, fudge. This may have done it. But guys, look, I said I was going to use all of them, and so that's exactly what I intend on doing. I don't half butt things, okay? Orange! Maybe if I use a beauty blender, it'll simmer it down. <laughs> Guys, so I got the first two foundations on and now it's time for the contraption. What, how many foundations is this? This is nine foundations, okay? I'm feeling a slight burning and tingling sensation, so that must mean something good's happening. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and blend her in and see what we get. I wanna make sure we're up close. Okay, so far, guys, it's looking pretty dewy, which I'm a fan of. I'm pretty sure because literally like all of my freaking foundations are dewy except for like a few. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's looking a little orange, but I think that's because of the foundation that I put underneath. Okay, I'm looking a little bit on the greasy side. My eyebrows are slowly disappearing. Coverage is actually very nice. Final thoughts on foundation before it's set. It's far too greasy. But I'm going to go ahead and set it and see what it looks like. Let me show you up close really quickly. Okay, so this is like really up close and like really personal and you're seeing every imperfection that I have. But I mean, for the sake of the video, we'll go for it. So this is what it looks like. Honestly, it's looking very not bad, actually. If the color was right, this wouldn't look too bad. Like it's not dry or like flaking. Because some of my foundations are dry when I, right when I put them on. They're kind of powdery. This is not, like, do you see what I'm working with here? It's ugly, kind of, but it's kind of not ugly. So now I'm going to set it and see what happens. So now I'm just going to take my stain mat, my Rimmel stain mat powder, and I'm going to gently set my face and see if I can get rid of some of this crazy shine. I'm not using my translucent powder because I'm almost out and like I'm a broke person and like I'm really cheap and I don't want to go buy a new powder. So, bobble, bobble, who's in trouble? You know where that's from? I think that's the word, but, or I'm in trouble or something. That's from Hocus Pocus in case you didn't know. So this is it when it's set, guys. This is set. It is still dewy, but it looks nice. Like it doesn't, it looks really kind of nice. It looks nice and like dewy and I look like I have really nice skin. I mean, besides like my pimples and stuff, but if I was wearing like concealer and like the right powder under my eyes, this ain't too shabby. Don't you hate that when your eyebrow literally just runs away? It's like, where are you going? So this is it. It is a little greasy. It's a little dewy. But it's honestly not the worst thing that I've ever seen. And considering I mixed together nine foundations, 
This isn't too bad. I mean, it's not my shade whatsoever, but if it was, and this was just one foundation, I'd wear it because I have still, I have still yet to find a dewy foundation that's not too greasy, but not drying at all. That just makes my skin look really luminous and pretty. And I think this actually does it. Now, am I actually going to use this on a daily basis? Absolutely not. I will not wear nine foundations on my face every day. But the combo really isn't that bad. I'm putting a little bit on my hand. I want to see what it blends out to on my hand. Yeah, I mean, the color is really not too off. It's just I think it was that layer underneath that threw it off. But what ifs? I would test it out throughout the day, but it's already like 8 o'clock at night and it's kind of pointless now, but I kind of just want to film this video and give it a shot. I thought it looked interesting. Maybe you want to mix together all the your foundations. I don't know. I don't know how this will wear throughout the day. Honestly, from the looks of it, it doesn't look like it would cause, like, give me many problems. It might get like a little greasy throughout the day probably and it might crack a little bit or like separate crack it might separate a little bit i can i can kind of see it doing it on my nose but literally every single foundation i own does that on my nose so that doesn't surprise me all right guys so that is it for today's video i really hope that you guys enjoyed it a little bit um yeah so this is it um i'll see you guys in my next video toodles <laughs>